Welcome to your transit talk report for Venus in Gemini. This is the peace dealer and this Venus in Gemini transit is going to change the way you sexually express yourself in any relationship context or with anyone for that matter. Venus is the goddess of love the representative or more i like to say the goddess of beauty and she polishes up in your life areas that need to be clean look more beautiful gain a little bit more finesse although i personally believe venus has too much connotation with love and not enough with money venus in my opinion is more analogous to value, the Taurian side. Regardless, its presence in Gemini is going to enlighten your heart and really connect you to the true people in your life that allow you and make you feel more comfortable speaking your heart. In that sense, if you feel with anybody like you have to censor yourself, like you have to hold yourself back, like you can't speak your truth, you're probably not around the right people and allow this Venus in Gemini transit to show you that accordingly. Not gonna lie, given the other transits in this, uh, you know, area or given, given the other transits that are transiting with this, this Venus in, in Gemini transit is going to fundamentally shift and change the, the romantic and interpersonal relationship dynamics that you have with people, because it will start with you. And the relationship with your own heart is going to be so much more enlightened as you see more into the truth of what you desire and what pleases you. As such, be prepared for a very fun, and of course, as I've said already too much, enlightening transit, and uh, definitely ponder during this transit What's your favorite word? What's your favorite thing to say? What's your favorite thing to communicate? Because you want to communicate that with as many people as you can. Venus in Gemini is going to be completing a cycle that it started earlier, or rather the end of last year with Jupiter in Sagittarius, where it was conjunct. And now that it is making its opposition after the first quarter square, we are manifesting the intent and the energy that was initially seeded, which is huge. This whole cycle is all about evolving and ascending your love, evolving and ascending your sense of pleasure, so that now that it's in Gemini, everything that you visualize and had a vision of is now manifesting with greater clarity so that you can really see into the truth of what connections that you have. As a result, be very mindful. Relationships are going to bubble up so much more magically. Potential that you may not have paid attention to with certain people will literally just appear. Not that it's coming out of thin air, but you're going to have the perception to be aware of what has always really been around you. What's really amazing about Venus transiting Gemini as well is the aspect it'll have with people who you're friends with. Gemini is very much so a communicative zodiac sign and it is a messenger. And so a lot of messages on your heart will be inspired not to be held within, but to share, share, share. Venus, once again, will not only be opposing Jupiter, but it will be squaring Neptune as it has just conjuncted Uranus and Taurus earlier. So the second house influence of this Venus aspect from Uranus and Taurus is manifesting what has already been established. And this is going to be experienced as a much fresher attitude. Where is your attitude when it comes to love? You definitely want to have some pizzazz and, and spark a unique intellectual approach and perception to life that not only makes you stand out, 
but will be there when it comes to connecting with other people. This isn't Venus in Virgo or Venus in Scorpio, where we develop greater analyzation and complexity. This is all about loving your thoughts, loving your mind, loving the talk, as the gossip will be ripe, but you'll, if you listen to what people are saying, really be receptive to so many gems that will bless you accordingly. Venus, of course, as it starts its transit, will sextile Chiron in Aries. Chiron, which has newly just started its transit in Aries, is very important. The last time Venus was in...